And the TV maitre d' is always bringing us the best in dining right here in Little Roadie. And the show is back for its 18th season. How is that possible? Back in studio after far too long. I was just telling him how happy I am to see him. To tell us all about it is the one and only Joe Zito. Good morning, sir. Hello, Will. By the way, yes. no, I don't mean to be fresh. It's 19 seasons. 19 and, seasons. and where's the wine? No wine? We need wine. Nobody gets my we, rider. We nobody need... nobody reads anything that I submit before we, I, I book these appearances. We need some wine. It's good to see you in person. Let me tell I, you I, what, honestly, my friend. I mean it, it, it's, it's been a crazy time these last couple right. of years. I'm thrilled to see you and everybody here. And before they throw me off here, there's one thing I, <laughs> I did want to say yes okay. 19 season 19 yes. Sunday morning at 11 a.m. on Fox and then at 11:30 on channel 12 of course you know if you if you're done shoveling and you have power turn on the show please it, it's gonna be great I, I just wanted to get one thing out because yeah. over the last 18 seasons wherever I traverse southern New England mm -hmm. in our viewing area people say one thing to me for which I'm tributed you know love your show and that's a supreme compliment. But there's only one thing that I want to make clear. It's not just my show. You know, for over 20 years, I've had a, a friend, a cameraman, and an editor, Armand DeLuise, who mm -hmm. does this task with me. There are only two of us who dive in and do it. And, and I appreciate him and what he does. He does all the quick bites for the news and right. the road show, too, with me. So I wanted to get that out. But more important than that, and then I'll be done with this, and we can talk about the show. <laughs> yeah is I wanted to thank the people out there. It's right. their show too. They have taken ownership of it. Mm -hmm. They love it. We've added the sponsors and all the great restaurants, restaurateurs and cooking and all. But the people out there, we do this show for them. Right. And Armand would agree with that. And to have 19 seasons, I'm just blown away. And lastly, yeah. the four fabulous stations we're on on this platform. Uh, you know, we have shows that are on 14 airings a week. So if you don't like this face, <laughs> I am your worst nightmare, you know? And, and the other thing people don't know is 19 seasons, they say to me, little, you know, little did I know when I was 17 when I began this show that <laughs> it would go this far because they see something. Well, I, I, I'm telling you, I love the show. I will watch it on, uh, when, when it's on, and I'll sit there, and there's so many, there are so many restaurants that we are blessed with here in Rhode Island. And as you know, I mean, if anyone knows it, you know it, Many of these restaurants have struggled over the past couple of years, so it's great that you were able to shine a light on them and get them on. Let me tell you what, one of the most difficult businesses in this horrifying pandemic has been the restaurant business, mm -hmm. and, and you'll see we have some beautiful features on Sunday's premiere edition. We're celebrating our friend Bob Burke's pot de fer 50 years we this year. They're open, incredible. I've got executive chef John Hagar of Acclaim Capriccio cooking with me at right. S&W Appliance, and then there are just features. Valentine's, okay? Well, we know every day's Valentine's Day at Luciano Canova's Tori Restaurant Group, don't we? Yes. Incredible. We've got Maria's Cucina, La Colina. Uh, there's a brand new restaurant, formerly Canova Italian Bar and Grill in Attleboro. It's now called jo Don and Gigi's Italian Ristorante. And it is a phenomenal place. We're going to meet the new owners there. Right. Um, uh, it's actually one new owner in, in Don Canova. He's taken on a partner and, and created a fabulous thing. We've got Chris Gasparro zooming. Sure. I've got Tavolo. Uh, look, the show's loaded, and Lots I know. Lots of great places. I know I've, I've forgotten some. So, like I say, if you've got power and you're done shoveling, Tune it in. I'm thrilled to do this and thrilled to be on the road show so, all the time. Joe, we've been obviously we've been we've been saying how many of these these restaurants have been, what they've been through the past couple of years. You're up close and personal with a lot of these folks. How are they How are they handling things? Many restaurants that I go in are very busy. Thank God. What What the the people um, need to know, and I say this most respectfully to the viewers because they're customers. Mm -hmm. This is a time that requires a little bit of patience. Mm -hmm. Many of these restaurants, even the ones that you think are so busy, they're still having trouble staffing right. for a full load, right. which means, and that goes in the kitchen too. Sure. So you need to be patient mm -hmm. a little bit. We're all in this together. Um, I do know there are many owners. In fact, Rick Mignanelli of Riches is on the show this week stating a thank you um, to the customers for their generosity during the pandemic when takeout was the only thing. Right. You need to support our restaurants. It's a lifeblood, but you also need to please be a little bit patient. We'll, hopefully we'll get through this mess. Absolutely, and before we let you go, we know you have another great love in your life, and that is your, your granddaughter. Oh, you know what? Simone is 16 months old now. Nancy and I. Look at are, her. There yeah, she is. We're, we're, uh, we're to the moon with this kid. <laughs> I know you now, are. Now, here's the deal. She, she's just the delight of our life. And my son, Mark, everybody knows yeah, Mark. He yeah. said to me, he goes, 
you know, you're awful excited about, about about my daughter. He says, were you as excited when I was this? I said, no. No. I said, not really. Your mother loved you. He goes, did you love me this much? I says, it was hit or miss. It was hot and cold. I said, but her? Oh, you're my God. She's unbelievable. And I'm telling you what, you know. It changes everything, it, right? It, it does. It changes everything. The crusty old guy is now the smiling papa. Yeah, uh, that's good. And I love it. And thank that's you good. for putting her on. That's good. Well, Joe, it is good to see you. I'm so happy you're here in person. Can't wait to get you back in the kitchen again very, very soon. And we love the work that you do. And thank you for, so much. Thanks for being part of the big, uh, the big take show Take a look here. on Sunday. Thank yes, you, Will. absolutely. All right. All right. Now, you can catch Joe's Quick Bites every Sunday morning at 6.15 and 8.15 a.m. right here on WPRI 12. And also, you can catch new Quick Bites right here on The Roadshow.